Hey folks, today I'm talking about what I wear while winter hiking and how I stay warm and comfortable and you can too. Coming up. Hey folks, my name is Jeremy, The Wayward Traveler, and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you love outdoor adventure and awesome gear, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, so let's dive right into it. Winter hiking is obviously a beautiful and worthwhile endeavor, and a lot of people get intimidated by the cold and the snow. Well. It's about 18 degrees out here, and as you can see, I'm pretty warm and toasty. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So winter hiking really starts with your layering system. And so for me, that starts with the base layers. I wear a merino wool base layer top and bottom. I follow that up with a mid-weight wool sock. Then comes my outer layer, which is a soft shell type pant. And then for my top, I'll use another insulation layer, usually a vest or sometimes a heavier weight merino wool uh, mid layer. And if the wind starts to pick up and I start to get chilled, I'll throw on my soft shell jacket. I normally don't hike in this or sometimes I'll start hiking in this and then duff it as I'm starting to heat up. I definitely don't want to sweat. And this soft shell has a nice fleece liner so it keeps me nice and warm. If I'm sitting here, filming or just enjoying the landscape and I start to get chilled, I can take this off and put on an insulating layer. So this is just a, a Patagonia puffy layer. It's synthetic insulation. This could just as easily be a down insulating layer, which might be a little bit lighter and provide a little bit more warmth. For my feet, for right now, I'm wearing a Gore-Tex uh, hiking boot this particular boot is a crispy Colorado GTX. I'm trying to see if I can push a three season boot into four, and so far it's working out very well for me. To keep snow and other debris out of my boot, I wear a gaiter, and this system keeps my lower leg really nice and toasty, and so far my feet have been really, really warm as well. If I've hiked an extended period of time and, and I just wanna sit here and have some lunch and really enjoy the scenery, what I'm probably going to do is change out my socks uh, for a, a, a dry, heavyweight wool sock. That way my feet really stay nice and dry and warm. That's about it. Have a good layering system. Know when to take off layers. Don't be afraid to take off layers too early. When you start to get it cold, put a layer back on. And what you really want to focus on is heat regulation. You don't want to sweat a lot. The less you can sweat and the more you can manage wetness, the better off you're gonna be. You're gonna stay dry and comfortable, which is gonna to translate to warmth. If you do that, you follow those simple tips and those simple layering guidelines, you're gonna be able to get out into the snow and really push the, some of the temperature boundaries and have a, an awesome time doing it. 
So I think that about wraps it up for, for this short video on some essential clothing for winter hiking. If you have found this video helpful and encouraging, please share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, Psalms 34.4.